One oh, 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 sh here we go. Lol, lol, straight sex is just breeding kink. Yeah, baby. Now this is my wheelhouse. As you know, dirty, raunchy jokes are 100% my specialty. So we're going to find out why Michael Knowles is offended by the idea that straight sex is just breeding kink. And it is. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. A creepy viral TikTok video. Uh, these sex scandals seem very strange today uh, because we've all gotten used to all sorts of sexual scandals that aren't even scandalous anymore. There was Have we? So Michael Knowles right here is complaining that the sex, according to him, and this is in his mind, the sex scandals aren't exciting enough for him anymore. Okay. There's a TikTok that went viral of some person on the left describing regular old heterosexuality, you know, just a man and a woman love each other very much and have babies. This is a man who has never had sex. I want you to just listen right now to this, how this guy talks about sex. And I will tell you this man has never had sex. Just listen. So this is, this is true 40 year old virgin energy. Listen. Left. Describing regular old heterosexuality, you know, just regular old, you know, the, the boomping and the bumping, you know, when you do the clumpo clumpo with your girlfriend, when you do the boinky doinky, you know, when you do the, 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 the hooba booba, when you do the, yeah, hooba booba time. This is fucking, it's fucking, it is hooba booba. It's fucking hooba booba. 100%. It's like bags of sand. A man and a woman love each other very much and have babies. As he <laughs> and, and have babies. This is a man who's never had sex. This guy gets, he, he gets, this is a, Michael Knowles, listen, I'm sorry, Michael Knowles, Michael Knowles, whatever how the fuck you say his stupid name, this is a guy who covers his eyes in the movie theater and goes like this. He peeks through his fingers when there's a kissing scene in the movies. He's like, oh, ooh, 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 oh, oh. That's him. That's fucking, that's fucking Michael Knowles. 100%. This is the guy who is struggling not to jack off when there's a kissing scene in the fucking newest fucking Transformers movie or whatever bullshit. Breeding kink. Ooh, I'm super straight. I'm only attracted to women who can bear me children. Babe, that's called a breeding kink. And it's not a sexuality. So it- Oh! <laughs> he's triggered! It- Wait a minute. So wait, he's actually gonna get offended. Please, he's gonna actually, he's gonna breed this 100% straight. She is, this, they, I don't know, that person 100% just trolled the shit out of this guy. He's gonna get so mad. Oh my God, please. Breeding yes. kink is yeah, this is. individual is making fun of people who hold a traditional sexual. <laughs> oh, he's, <laughs> I'm, this person's making fun of me because I, because I, because I put the penis in vagina. It's not fair. I'm so discriminated against. <laughs> Thick. Shut the fuck. Who think that, in the words of the great philosopher Norm Macdonald, sex is a filthy, shameful thing that obviously is only meant for procreation? And Whoa! Whoa! Hold on a second. Hold a traditional sexual ethic. Who think that, in the words of the great philosopher Norm Macdonald, sex is a filthy, shameful thing that obviously is only meant for procreation? And. Bazinga, 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 bazinga. And that you should maybe get married before you have sex, and that when you have sex, you should be open to the possibility of life and have children and have a really good life. And what, what this person is saying is, no, that's a breeding kink. Some people have a kink for whips and chains. Some people have a kink for threesomes. And some people have a kink for... Excuse me. Threesomes? Threesomes are not a kink, okay? That's just what I call a Monday night. Oh! Oh! Perfect timing, come here. Perfect timing. Oh! Bam, 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 bam. B -b -b Bazinga. Let's continue. For breeding. But it's all just kinks, right? It's all just kind of weird quirks oh, of sex. Oh, this is, uh, if you, you, I know you haven't, you've probably been hearing me shouting, but you don't know what I'm watching. Just so you know, this is a segment called LOL by Michael Knowles, which is a uh, straight sex. He get he gets triggered by a 10 second TikTok 
in which uh, a non-binary person says that uh, you're not super straight. You just have a breeding kink, honey. And he's like, Rah! he's losing his absolute mind over it. Troll. It's so good. I love this. I fucking, wow, wow Michael Nowles. We got to laugh at Michael Nowles more. This guy's too funny. Yeah, go for it. And what that implies is that there's no standard. What that implies is that that no sort of sexual behavior is any better or worse than any other sort of sexual behavior. Okay. Remember, this guy is saying that this 10, less than 10 second, a five second TikTok, he's reading into a five second TikTok, oh, this is, this is gay supremacy. Behavior. Right, it's all just relative. It's all just what you want. It's all about your desires. Now this creates a problem in the Me Too era because their sexual standards will come in, they will be enforced in some way, and so now people have to explain why certain sort of ugly sexual encounters are fine, but the exact same sorts of sexual encounters when they're undertaken by different people or in different circumstances are not fine. Real rapist vibes going on here. Let's, I'm sorry, can we just rewind this? I'm actually, I can't actually believe that this is the thoughts of a human being. Sort of ugly sexual encounters are fine but the exact yes michael nels if i hit my wife with a with a fucking whip until she cries because she begged me to do it that is different than if you rape your fucking intern you fucking clown same sorts of sexual encounters when they're undertaken by different people or in different circumstances are not fine and it's just it's very very yeah dude as it turns out the circumstances of sex have a lot to do with it let me explain something to you michael nowells okay ready me putting my penis into somebody who wants my cock is perfectly fine you putting your penis into 20 people, all of whom are screaming, no, Michael, no, not again, before you unintentionally trip and jam it into a sausage grinder is not okay. See how the difference is there? There's, there's a big difference in the context. You don't just get to say ugly sexual encounters that are different on the context. You're talking about the difference between consent and rape. confusing. We've been told that women are totally liberated. They ought to be able to relate to sex in exactly the same way as men. But then when women come to regret sex, as in the case of high, of high profile cases like Marilyn Manson or other, other, uh, uh, what? partners and, and lovers of these, these various men, they say, well, yes, it was consensual, but he still abused me and I didn't like it. Men and women are different, wait, but they're not. Wait, what? This is this is literal word salad. Not different. And he he won't even he can't even say the words. This is like that moment when you hang out with your Christian friend who's like, who's like, um, I was watching I was watching a movie last night and I had to leave early because they had, they had, you know, the S word and you're like what shit and they're like no, no S blank X, you know, set. It's like you can say the word. It's, they're like sex and they whisper it under their voice because they're nervous because they feel like the word sex alone is not allowed that's this is what it sounds like straight up sounds like that and by the way i've hung out with a lot of people like that so if you're if you're going wow i've known like 10 people like that that's because i fucking i know it's all very confusing because we don't have any sort of standard i'm glad you liked that clip i hope that you'll listen to the entire show head on a dude never you you got triggered over a literal five second TikTok. Oh my God, this is so good.